doing, everybody? It's Jimmy Perry here from Parlisten.website, your go-to resource for all beginning Parlisten information. And I'm coming live from a Wendy's parking lot. Uh, I was just working on my site. I took a nap in this big. I took a nap in this car. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was tired, but I'm here to answer. Or I have an article that I wrote and did some research on, and it's basically talking about is answering the question: Is powerlifting the same as strength training? But before we get to that, don't forget to check out the black or, or the powerlifting the website or the store now. Uh, we, here we have like the um, powerlifting belts and the wrist straps, and we also have a bundle so you can get both of those for like forty-five bucks. And and that's just gonna be on the site, no promo code or anything like that, because I haven't set that up yet. But we use that's just on the site, and I'm really getting tired of this little glass thing because I, I cracked my camera and it's very annoying. But uh, it's probably business on social media. Um, and what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, there's one more thing. It's pretty much it right now. Uh, so let's get right into it. It's probably the same as strength training. Uh, no, but they are, they can be benefit, like, if you strength train, that can have a carryover to your powerlifting routine or your, your numbers in powerlifting and, like, Okay, so the basic tenet of uh, strength training, or the idea behind strength training, is you wanna you wanna develop every muscle in your body and get every muscle in your body as strong as they possibly can, as they can possibly be. And powerlifting focuses on three main movements, which are the squat, bench press, and the deadlift. So, um, no, they're not the same, but they can you know help one another. So I'm just gonna give an overview of the article. Um, I gave an idea of what strength training is, but the basic tenets of strength training are they want to make sure they use the greatest amount of muscle mass possible strength trainers, people who lift weights, go to the gym for strength. Uh, they use a lot, utilize a high range of motion, whatever range of motion is the most uh, efficient for getting them stronger. That's one area where they uh, differ in than power, power lifting. And another thing is, they load the bar up with as much weight as they, or lift as much weight as they possibly can handle for as many reps they have to perform. Um... Yeah, the next thing is the basic tenets of powerlifting, which is they want to lift as much weight as you can, at least in a meet, and you want to reduce your range of motion to the, the whatever is legally acceptable in the meet, which is why we have the arch on the bench press and sumo deadlift and wide stand squats because <laughs> they want to limit their range of motion. There's, the lower your range of motion, the more move or weight you can move. It's like basically, um, but. I gave you an example of the flat bench and the arch bench press um, for powerlifting. Flat bench, basically, the arch bench press is the, having that arch in your bench press is what powerlifters do to lift more weight. Doesn't essentially mean they're strong enough to move. Like with a flat bench, I don't think they'll be strong enough to move as much weight as they are with the, the arch. But and but yeah, I mean then again, you never know because they we have to like do the pause and stuff like that. So that's another thing to consider. Uh, can strength training help a powerlifter? Yes, because with say for instance, if you like strength with in strength training, you don't have to do like the wide grip, right? You can do a narrower grip. Narrower grip works your front delts. So if you work your front delts, that's gonna have a carryover to your regular your flat your regular bench press. So doing strength training and not like so not training like you not training your bench like you would in the meet or it's, really it's like this strength training movements like strength training programs whatever. Are basically assistance movements for powerlifting. So, narrow grip bench is, you know, what they're talking about in this um, strength training uh, program is going to carry over to your regular bench and your for meat or a um, conventional deadlift is going to have a carry over to your sumo deadlift or your whatever deadlift form you use in meat, which is probably sumo or conventional. And I know that's what I was talking about. Like I, was, I said this in early videos. Like my conventional deadlift has gotten up, so my sumo deadlift is. I haven't tested it yet, but my sumo deadlift is like we gotten up or going up in numbers because I mean I'm stronger. I'm most likely stronger in my sumo deadlift. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, are powerlifting and strength training the same thing? No, but they can coexist, and one can help the other. Uh. <laughs> Like your video if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. You'll hear from me next time. Peace.